Well, one of the things that, um, as I was describing, if we, if we grow the economy and that grows the pie, a pretty good chunk of that pie needs to go to infrastructure. Just uh, in transportation infrastructure alone, committees that have been meeting on this for years say that we have about a one and a half billion dollar a year need for building new freeways and highways and, and maintaining the ones that we've got and all of that. Um, so growing the economy and then taking a chunk of that, that larger pie and making sure that we address our infrastructure needs. There might even be a few pieces of infrastructure such as um, the high-speed internet and connectivity issues that uh, was alluded to in the governor's budget request that you know we'll do a little piecemeal thing and we'll charge the schools back for part of their increase in their per pupil. That was I think the best foundation for how to make decisions related to you know running a government but the second was that I started my public service career on, on a city council at a local government entity. And so I had a foundation and a knowledge of how important it is that, that the local government entities have the resources that they need and that the state shouldn't be taking from them to, to balance its own uh, budgets. So when I got to the legislature, we eliminated those sweeps of highway user revenue funds and, and that that made it difficult for the local communities to provide the kind of infrastructure that their citizens wanted and we need to get back to that so that the state's balancing its budget but it's not doing so on the backs of taking the money from the local governments.